Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. Hi there, and welcome to the Zoloft. Some of y'all may be asking, well, Zo, that doesn't look like the Zoloft. Where's the Zoloft? Hey, the Zoloft is wherever I am, baby. Don't worry about it. Now, look, I, um, I heard that question again today. Uh, what's that question? If God is all-powerful, can he create a rock that he can't move? And uh, I remember being asked that question like years ago, man. I, I uh, you know, but I was more of an agnostic. I wasn't in Christ at the time. And somebody had asked that question, I guess maybe to, uh, you know, affirm, you know, more so affirm my agnosticism and ask the question, hey, can God create a rock? You know, he presented that, you know, that old question of, of can God create a, a rock that he can't move? And uh, I remember, you know, sitting on that. And then in my, later on, I, I put my answer in my book, Weapon of ASS Destruction, American Socialist States. Hope you go pick that up. But uh, anyway, so the conclusion I came to was, <clears throat> no, no, God can't create a rock that he can't move. And, uh, and, and here's why. Um, God creating a rock that he can't move, that would be, that would be stupid. And God doesn't have the capacity to be stupid. I know that's hard to prove, you know, considering us, because we have a tendency to be, you know, pretty stupid at times. But <clears throat> still, that is because we have the free will. We make the choice, right? God gave us that free will choice. You can't give anybody that. Only God can actually create life and then give it the free will to do so, uh, to do what it wills. So anyway, God creating a rock that he can't move that doesn't even speak, <clears throat> that doesn't even speak to his, his power. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, if we're asking if God is all powerful, can he create a rock that he can't move? God creating a rock that he can't move, like I said, isn't really speaking to his power. That would be speaking to his intelligence. Why would God waste his power on doing something so stupid? It, there's no, there's no utility to it. What's the practicality of him creating a rock that he can't move? Now, as far as the secularists go, they want to say that <clears throat> knowledge is power right? It's knowledge that's power. Well, then we would have to be questioning if not if God is all powerful, but is God omniscient? Is he all knowing? And if God is all knowing and if power is knowledge, then God would know better than to create a rock that he can't move. There's no practicality in it. So that would be a stupid move for God. And God isn't known for, you know, being stupid. He might have creations that do stupid things, but he himself doesn't do stupid things. You know, it's a funny thing about the cynic who thinks he's too sophisticated for God. You, you look at humanity with disgust because humanity is wasteful with its power and resources. Meanwhile, your test for God's omnipotence is for him to be wasteful with his power and resources. You want him to waste his power on creating a rock that he can't move. That would be a waste of his power and resources, don't you think? So I just wanted to run that by it. <clears throat> Once again, just to recap, God creating a rock that he can't move isn't really speaking to his om omnipotence, right? His omnipotence, his power. It would be more so speaking to his intelligence. Is he, is he that dumb where he would create something that he couldn't move? That would be speaking to his intelligence. And I just thought I would share that with you for Sunday. And if you're digging our sessions, I hope you keep coming back to the Zola for that refill. And if you want to support the message and pick up things like my audio book, just check out my website, alfonsorachel.com. You know, support, so I can keep the supply coming. Hey, the Zoloft is wherever I am, baby.